I waited for you under the bleachers until halfway through the JV track meet. Then I saw you getting on the North Avenue bus and I followed you here in my new car. We're having a blast. Come on, jump in. I ever has anybody touched you? Yo, better hustle. Here's my hustle. I saw you getting into your darling new car, so I followed you in mine. Mode of mouth. Are you brainwashing these children? They only dancing. Yeah, we're dancing. Oh, I should have known you'd be at the bottom of this barrel. Oh, Tracy, that, that was you that I saw. Will that was the kids I saw. Mama. Well, I had a sudden craving for chicken and waffles, so we stopped by Ruby's Takeout across the way. Hello, everybody. I'm Tracy's mother. Oh, so you're what spawned that? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm only trying to say that you two are living proof that the watermelon doesn't fall very far from the vine. <sighs> Tracy, be a dear. Hold mommy's waffles. <laughs> All right, a party. Anyone for chicken and waffles? If any more white people show up, this is going to be a suburb. Come on, Amber. Let's get back to the right side of the tracks. If our cars are still there. Let's go, Link. Amber, you're being rude to these people. Amber, come. Link. I never liked them. Are all white people like that? Nah, just most. <laughs> but I know how we could start changing that. If people saw us dancing together like this on TV, they'd realize that we're not so different after all. We just want to have a good time. <laughs> Are you saying that you and Link would be willing to dance with us on Negro Day? That would be earth shaking. No, we're not going to dance on Negro Day. You're crashing White Day. Oh, <laughs> hey. You got to be more specific than that. <laughs> Is tomorrow specific enough? I think it's Mother Daughter Day. Miss Motormouth, you work for the station. They could never turn you and little Inez away. And then once the two of you break the barrier, we'll all be free to dance on TV. That thinking's downright revolutionary. <laughs> Child, it ain't that easy. You say part cheesy. Not what if they call the cops. People could get hurt. <laughs> That's how we're gonna do it all together. You've got me, you've got Link. And I'm sure we could get the others. Without dancers, they've got no show. What a decision. Your girls got fish. We've always tried to teach her to do what's right. Yeah, and give correct change. Tracy, <laughs> you can't do this. You're new to the council. You'll be blackballed and thrown off the show for sure. That's how we're going to all do it together. Not me. You don't think segregation's wrong? I like these people. But whether or not they're on TV won't get me a recording contract. Hey, look, that came out wrong. I've been singing and smiling on that show for the past three years, waiting for it to lead to my break. You've got everything. Brains, talent, personality, me. I've got one shot to be seen nationwide. This Saturday night is everything I've worked for, and I'm not going to throw it away. Come on, I'm leaving, and you should too. No, I want to stay, and so should you. It's what's right. Sailing, please stay. I'm sorry. But I was starting to think that you yeah, and me I, together. I know, me too. But I don't know. Everything's starting to get too complicated. And there's still Amber. See you, little darling. I'm sorry, Tracy. Oh, Mama. Why did I ever think Link Larkin would care about a girl like me? Why wouldn't he? You're a beautiful girl. It's just Eddie Fisher all over again. Mama, don't tease. I really like him. I've never felt anything like this before. I know. 
And, and I'm sure that he likes you too. It's just that boys are not the brightest thing. You have to say that you're my mother. I'm not just your mother. I'm a woman in love. And we know about this stuff. Tracy, he could be right. Should you risk your career? I would have never gotten on that show without seaweed. No, it's payback time! That's my girl! Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Tomorrow, everyone bring your mothers and sisters and meet me around the corner from the studio and make signs! Yes, and put words on them! <laughs> okay, Miss Motormouth, you and the lioness will walk in first. Me and Mama will be right behind you. E excuse me? Well, they could never knock them through the door with us blocking it. <laughs> no, no, no one said anything about appealing on television. I, I simply cannot appear on television at my current weight. Hey, you can't let weight restrict your fate. Look at me. <laughs> I'm on TV. <laughs> Miss Motormouth, you're a celebrity, whereas I am just a simple housewife of indeterminate girth. The bigger the girth, the more you work. Hey, Mrs. Hearn Black, you don't mind that the Miz is his and I am American, not do ya? Not at all. I think of her as prime real estate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice and roomy. Now you listen to me. Once upon a time, girl, I was just like you. Never let my extra large lock just shine through. Hair was brown and nappy, never had no fun. I hid under a bush, which is easier said than done. Then one day my grandma, who was big and stout, she said, you gotta love yourself from inside out. Just as soon as I learned how to strut my funky stuff, I found out that for early locks can't get enough. So bring on that pecan pie, pour some sugar on it, sugar, don't be shy. Scoop me up a mess of that. Chocolate swirl, don't be stingy, I'm a growing girl. I offer big love with no apologies. How can I deny the world the most of me? I am not to throw my weight around. Pound by pound by pound. Oh, because I'm big, blonde, and beautiful. No, I want some meal that only offers the least. Girl, we're serving up the whole damn feast. I saw a piece of that hog head cheese. Take a look inside my book of recipes. Now don't you sniff around. Beautiful. 